Hello friends, in this video we are going to understand how to create a simple multiplication table app in JavaScript. We are going to understand how to display multiplication table for a given number in JavaScript guys. So let's get started. Here I have default.html page, I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to multiplication table app in JS. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to multiplication table app in JS. Here in the body section, I am going to create a div, opening div and closing div. To this div, I am going to give an ID, ID of multiplication table app. And I apply some styles to this. I am going to copy in the head section. I say opening style tag and closing style tag. And here I say type is equals to text or CSS. And then I say hash multiplication table app should have padding of 15 pixels. B A C K G R O U N D background dash color of light gray and margin margin dash bottom of 10 pixels i save this go to browser and reload you see we got this div created guys in this div we create our application here i say opening label closing label inside that i say number colon save go to browser and reload see number colon is displayed then I say here input type is equals to text. So this displays a text box with the default value I set 0. Save, go to browser and reload. See text box is displayed. Here user is going to enter a number guys. Okay. Next I am going to identify this uniquely by giving an id of txt num. Then I say here br. I create a button here. I say input type is equals to button and then value I say generate value I say generate. I save this and go to browser and reload. You see we got a generate button. So if user enters the number 2 and clicks on the generate button, we should display here the multiplication table for number 2. If user enters 3 and click on generate, it should display here multiplication table for the number 3 guys ok so after this uh, div I am going to create another div I say opening div and closing div and it is going to have an id of of result result so in this result div we display the multiplication table guys fine ok now when we click on this button on click on click on click of this button from the javascript generate function should be called and executed this function we are going to create here i say opening script tag and closing script tag and here i say type is equals to text or javascript inside this i say function generate okay so what happens here when i click on the generate button generate function from javascript is executed okay just to prove here i say alert and then in double quotations i say clicked so what happens alert box is displayed with the text clicked guys i save it go to browser and reload if i click on generate button you see the alert box is displayed with the text clicked so the code is working you see that when I click on the generate button generate function is getting called okay what we do here we get the value of this field right so how do we get the value I say document dot get element by id first we get reference to this input field which has the id txt num so here I give the id guys in the document we are telling get the element whose id is txt num so this element id is txt num we are referring that 
from that we want to get the value right so i see a dot value just to prove that we are getting the value again i display the value in alert box okay save it go to browser and reload if i click on generate see it is displaying zero because zero is the current value of txt num if i say here three generate see it is displaying three so we are successfully getting the value of txt num field right but remember the value that we are getting here is of type string guys it is not a number the number here user enters three of course but it is not a number three guys it is actually a string three we are getting we are getting what string three not the number three just to prove that it is a string here i use the type of operator type of now we are displaying type of this value definitely we will get string guys okay save it go to browser and reload if i say here three and generate see it is returning string because this three is actually a string three guys it is a string three we have to convert this string into a number for that we use number function n-u-m-b-e-r number function to the number function we give this value a string three when we give to number function it converts this into number three guys we get three okay so if i have to prove if i say here type of now it displays number to us see if i save it go to browser and reload i say here three and say generate see it is telling number if i say here five generate it is telling number so we are getting the number type of value understanding the value will be definitely whatever the user is entering so here if user enters 3 we get number 3 if user enters 5 we get number 5 not the string 5 i hope you guys are understanding okay okay we got the value okay we are getting the value we store that in a variable i see here var num equal to what we are doing we are getting the value of txt num storing in the variable called num understood okay we got the num that is awesome what we have to display we have to display the multiplication table for that number for example if user enters if number is 2 assume okay we have to display multiplication table 2 into 1 equal to 2 2 into 2 equal to 4 2 into 3 equal to 6 and so on 2 multiply by 10 2 into 10 equal to 20 this is what we have to display we have to display the multiplication table and you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we know here we have to display this 10 times so we need a for loop right here i say for where i is equal to 1 we start with 1 right in the multiplication table you see we are starting with 1 ending at 10 you see that so i less than 11 less than 11 means 10 and every time the i value should be incremented right initially it is 1 then it should be incremented by 1 2 3 4 like that so for that we say here i plus plus okay opening flower bracket closing flower bracket that is awesome so this for loop is executed 10 times guys it is executed 10 times okay now I want to generate a complete multiplication table and store that in a variable. So I say here var, I call here multiplication table, which is going to be empty initially. Okay, it is a string, multiplication table will be empty. Now what we want to display is very simple here. Multiplication table should be equal to whatever the current value of multiplication table is. That is at present we have empty, right? Initially it is empty plus what we want to display we want to display a number right we want to display the number whatever user enters here right two so number value of num variable num then what we want to display we want to display space star space so i say here plus it has to display space star space it is a string guys okay then again plus what we have to display next we have to display 1 2 3 4 like that so here the i value changes from 1 to 10 so we display the value of i then plus 
after 1 2 3 4 5 that numbers what should we display we should display space equal to space double quotations here space equal to space double quotations after that what should happen we should display 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 so for that here i say in brackets 2 multiplied by i here the i value is changing right i value changes from 1 to 10 so initially the i value will be 1 so 2 into 1 so instead of 2 i will say here num because num is 2 we are assuming that num is 2 that we are getting here right so 2 into 1 2 into 2 2 into 3 like that it displays the result after that after displaying one output that is 2 into 1 equal to 2 we should have a line break right so next 2 into 2 equal to 4 should get display on the next line so here in double quotations i say br so all these things i am i am adding in this multiplication table so instead of writing multiplication table equal to multiplication table plus what we can do is we can simply just simply we can say plus equal to right so this is a shorthand arithmetic assignment operator that we discussed in javascript so this code is going to create the entire multiplication table for the given number and add that in the multiplication table variable and this uh, final multiplication table what we get we display in the result div so simple thing document dot get element by id okay document dot get element by id so id i give here result result dot inner html we should say dot inner html inner html means the content okay the content inside the div that's what we are telling inner html should be equal to multiplication table should be equal to multiplication table so if i save this go to browser and reload now if i say here one generate see it is displaying the multiplication table for one one into one equal to one and then break one into two equal to two and break so if i say here two and say generate See, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 3 is 6. So, now we can give any number here. For that, we get the multiplication table, guys. So, very simple code it is. Now, I am going to trace this code and explain you how, what is happening here. So, let's go to the browser and uh, let's reload this. Here, I go to more tools and developer tools. Okay. Now, in the sources, I am going to put the breakpoint at the for loop here. I put the breakpoint here and i'm we are going to watch few variables okay we watch num variable so let's add the num n u m num variable and we watch the i variable we watch the i variable and then we watch the multiplication table variable okay so let's refresh this and enter to and say generate now check out what is there in the num in the num we have two right so we got in the num and then multiplication table is empty you see that it is empty at present i is undefined because we have to execute the for loop so let's start if i say here step over you can see i value is set to 1 okay num is 2 i value is 1 and i less than 11 that is 1 less than 11 is true as condition is true it comes inside here right now you see what is num num is 2 this entire expression you can see from here to here if you observe it is num is 2 then we have multiplication and then i value is 1 so 2 into 1 equal to here 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 so we get 2 star 1 equal to 2 and line break added to the multiplication table so if i say step over you see 2 star 1 equal to 2 and then br is added you see that now i value is incremented by 1 it is going to become 2 if i say step over it becomes 2 guys you see that i value becomes 2 and 2 less than 11 is true right so if i say step over it comes inside now the i value is 2 now what will be added to the multiplication table you see you clearly observe 2 star i value is 2 so 2 star 2 equal to num is 2 i is 2 2 into 2 is 4 so 2 star 2 equal to 4 and br is added see if i say step over you see 2 into 1 equal to 2 br 2 into 2 equal to 4 br right if i say step over i value becomes 3 
and 3 less than 11 is true now it is going to add this see 2 num value is 2 star i value is 3 3 equal to 2 into 3 is 6 so 6 and br is added like that it is going to create the entire multiplication table guys so if i say step over continuously it is creating that entire multiplication table see i value is 7 now 8 9 10 and then when i value becomes 11 11 less than 11 is false you see it becomes false the loop is terminated when the loop is terminated the multiplication table this variable is going to have the entire multiplication table guys see 2 into 1 equal to 2 br 2 into 2 equal to 4 br 2 into 3 equal to 6 br like that 2 into 10 equal to 20 br you can see that that complete table is there and that is displayed as the content of the due guys here so step over see we got the multiplication table i hope you understood the flow of execution of this code i want you to try this application by yourself okay if you have any doubts please do not hesitate to ask i'll clear your doubts put them in the comment section if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial